All right, how's it going? Brian Donnelly here. So recently I made a video that did really well online. I think it got almost a million views in a few days on Reels on TikTok and everyone asked how I made it. Now this video is way more complicated than the tutorial I'm gonna to give today, but in general, people are asking how did I make duplicates of myself while I'm in the same video. So I brought a clone of myself here to tell you a little bit more about what we're gonna be doing today. Basically, we're gonna be doing two methods. So tell them the first method. Yeah, so the first method is using Premiere Pro. It's the more advanced method, but it's the most accurate method and probably the best one to use if you're gonna be doing it to a higher level. And the second method is gonna be made using a phone or or an iPad or anything you can carry around with you and it's really easy to make. Just, it's a simpler version of it, but it can be used for both. So I'm gonna show you how to make a video like this and yeah, you can learn how to make a clone of yourself. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah, sweet. All right, let's get straight to it. Okay, so for this example, I'm just gonna make a simple clip of me walking in from the right side, and me walking in from the left side and combining them both together so I'm both in the same clip and I can be doing actions or whatever. At the end, I'm gonna give you a little tip on how I overlapped all the people and made it more complicated, but this is a simple edit. So you need two clips. You need one clip of you just in one side of the screen and then you need one clip of you in the other side of the screen and make sure your camera is on a tripod all the time. It can't move or else this won't work. And while you're filming, make sure not to overlap yourself. So if I'm walking in from this side and I'm also walking in from this side, make sure like this person isn't gonna be on this side of the screen while that person is on this side as well. Otherwise you make things way more complicated for yourself, but then you have to mask everything out. It's more fun. I prefer doing those advanced edits, but uh, I don't think most people like to spend every time going frame by frame through it. So you have your two clips now. We're gonna go straight to editing upstairs. First, we're gonna show you how to do it on Premiere Pro really fast. Then we're gonna show you how to do it on your phone or iPad or whatever you want. Okay, so first open up Premiere Pro, import your two clips and have them side by side. Then drag one of the clips on top of the other clip. Tap on this top clip, scroll down to opacity until you find this pen tool and draw a pen around your body. This is basically called a mask and it basically makes a sticker of yourself and plonks it on top of the other clip. Now, as you move through the frame, you'll see that you might walk through the mask at some stages. So what you want to do here is tap on this little stopwatch and this basically means that you can keyframe certain times where the mask is gonna move. So the mask might start on the left side of the screen and then throughout the video, it'll move to the right as you move through the screen. So just pressing the stopwatch in every 10 frames or six frames or so, move the mask so that you stay within it the whole time and make sure not to overlap with the other video of yourself. Now, I did say I'd show you how to do it on the phone as well. On the phone, the best app to do this with is Video Leap. I think Video Leap's awesome, but CapCut, I'm fairly sure, also does it very well. So again, you just wanna download the app and then import your two clips side by side. Drag one clip, drag it on top of the other clip. Go across until you find mask, go to linear mask and drag this linear mask into the middle of the screen and then you're gonna have the exact same thing done. You can keyframe it by pressing this button down here, but it's harder to work with this one because it's not a manual shape of the mask. It can only be linear or it can be a rectangle or a circle. There's no like drawing a certain area. So if you're outlining a certain object in front of something, that you can't do that on the app, you have to use Premiere Pro. And I said I'd tell you how to make the hoodie transition I made. Basically, I made this the same way using masks, except, except for every mask, I went around the outline of my body for each layer on top of the layer previous over and over again. So it took hours and hours. If you imagine every like, three frames, I had to outline fingers and hoods and everything in front of like seven other layers of video. Absolute nightmare, but I think it turned out pretty cool. So this is a really quick video, a little fun video. I just thought I'd share with you guys how to do it. It's a really simple trick, a really fun trick, and there's loads of creative things you can do with it. I've done loads of little videos with cloning myself and stuff like that, and it's just a, a, a fun trick. It's a, instantly more engaging. So yeah, if you did like this video, if you're gonna try it out or anything like that, leave a comment below and give it a like, and subscribe for more tips, because that would be awesome. Really appreciate it. Let me know if you'd like any other video suggestions. I know this is quite quick, but maybe we'll make some more little quick tutorials like this. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.